Member for Surrey Cloverdale. Uh, thank you, Honourable Speaker. Uh, and thank you to the member for Caribou to Cloton. I, I will agree uh, that small businesses do play uh, a critical part in our, in our economy uh, across the province. Um, the part about math that I wanted to talk about uh, started from a, a small business owner uh, who had concerns over the, uh, the raise to the minimum wage uh, table that was out there. Uh, and, and while we all agree that you, everyone deserves a, a fair wage for a day's pay, uh, for some small businesses, the increase uh, that was coming forward that was based on the cost of living of 3.9% um, was uh, a little bit unnerving for this one small business owner. And so he came in and what we realized that he had a, an annual payroll uh, last year of over $800,000 uh, and in 2023, um, and paid just under uh, $9,000 uh, in EHCT. And, um, and, and with the increase of uh, minimum wage, uh, he was concerned about what was gonna happen in 2024. Uh, and that's when we sat down and uh, took a look at what was there with regards to his, his payroll uh, coming up this year. Uh, so with, the, with this payroll now at $840,000 a year uh, and with the EHT threshold uh, doubling, um, the business owner uh, that I was speaking to directly uh, realized that there was a cost savings of nearly $10,000 with the change at the threshold. So, so honorable speaker, in, in the words of this small business owner, uh, this is a game changer uh, to them. Um, shortly after uh, the budget speech, speech honorable speaker, uh, I met with my uh, Chamber of Commerce. Uh, I met with my BIA association and uh, to say that they were ecstatic uh, over the threshold changes uh, to the EHT would be an understatement. Uh, they felt in excess of 90% 90, 90 of their members that they represent uh, in that area, which are small business owners, uh, will finally uh, get the, the, uh, the, the ability to move themselves forward. I spoke to one small business owner uh, that was sitting on the threshold of a $500,000 uh, payroll. And now knowing that the threshold had changed to $1 million, uh, they knew that the, the added cost of that tax now being gone, uh, the burden would no longer be with business. So, Honourable Speaker, I, I think what I'll leave is, is I'm, I'm happy with what the government has done recently uh, to put the money back into the pockets of, of small businesses uh, with changing the threshold of the EHT and what, it's pl what it plans to do with other small businesses and allow them to grow to the size that they feel that they can comfortably get to. Thank you, Honourable Speaker.